Hi, DLR. It's Joe from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how to add a wired siren to our Vista security system. On a Vista system, when you're connecting a wired siren directly to the board, it's going to be able to use up to 2 amps of power in the voltage range of 10.5 to 13.8. The reason for this is the siren, when it's connected to the board itself, is actually pulling the power from the backup battery. This is going to let the siren work when there's no power. If you have a siren setup that requires more power than that, you will want to install a uh, auxiliary power supply of some sort to power those sirens so you don't overdraw the board. Another note is that you can actually install multiple sirens on, uh, on the board or coming off the board in what's known as a daisy chain setup. So basically the positive and the positive, or the positive would go to one siren and then come off that siren, go to the positive on another, so on and so forth. A lot of sirens that are out nowadays actually have two positive terminals on them. So you can send that one positive into one and have the other one coming out to another siren. The negatives on these sirens are working the same way. And it's a real convenient way to add multiple hardwired sirens to your Vista security system. Just make sure that you're not overdrawing the board by using too much power from your siren setup. If you do, all you need to do is install that auxiliary power supply and you'll be able to run it. Today I have a Honeywell 747 self-contained indoor siren. This is a wired siren and we're going to install it to the board. On the newer Vista systems, if you did want to supervise the bell loop, it's going to come with an 820 ohm resistor. And all you have to do is strap that. It's recommended to strap it across the siren terminals at the siren. If you can't get it there though, putting it on the board will give you some supervision on the loop. Let's take a look at how to install this siren on the system though. Where we install the siren on the Vista system are terminals 3 and 4. Terminal 3 is our positive, Terminal 4 is our negative. And before we do this, we want to make sure that the system is powered down 100%. So luckily, I have an LT cable on this Vista system, so I can just pull that to cut the main power, and I'll remove the battery next. So our system is fully powered down and we're ready to install the siren. This 747 siren is pretty basic, but I personally really like these as they just do what they're supposed to do with no ifs, ands, or buts. This siren has three different cables in it. Many wired sirens that you get are going to have something similar. The reason for this is it lets you do different tones from the siren. Our black is our negative, so we're always going to have to install this. There's a little sticker right here that actually says what the other wires do. The black says it's negative, the red says warble, the yellow says steady. So if we wanted a warble tone, we'd use this with the black. If we wanted a steady tone, we'd use the yellow with the black. We're going to go with that for today. In a real installation, I would have another wire that I connected to these to make sure that I can install my siren wherever I want to. But for today, as they're long enough, I'll be able to show you how we connect them right to the system. So our, our black is negative and our yellow is positive, which means that the black is going to go to terminal 4 and the yellow is going to go to terminal 3. I've already cleaned these connections coming off of this siren. If you are installing a siren fresh out of the box though, the wire tips or the wires that you're installing, it is recommended that you cut them and you strip a new piece just to make sure it's clean and fresh for your, uh, for your system. All right. This is installed nice and secure. If I pull it, nothing's going to happen. And we're not going to install that 820 ohm resistor for today. Let me go ahead and power the system back up. And as you... As you just heard, the siren is going through its test phases, and that tone tells us that we did install it correctly. One last point, if you have an older Honeywell security system, the siren supervision is actually a little jumper on the board. To turn the supervision off, you would cut it. So you'll want to check what system you have. If you are confused or if you are not too sure about what to do with your panel, please reach out to us and let us know. Even take a picture of your system and send it to support at alarmgrid.com. We can help identify what system you have and let you figure out how to install your siren.
because it'll be a little different if it's old or new. Again, though, if you have any questions about this process, how to install hardwired sirens on your system, or any, anything else concerning security systems, please send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. Head to our website, www.alarmgrid.com, or give us a call at 888-818-7728. If you like the video, feel free to subscribe, and if you want to be notified when we post future videos, hit the notification button below, and we'll send you an update when we do so. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.